குட் ஆஃப்டர்நூன் சில்ட்ரன் வெல்கம் டு சிக்ஸ்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் சோஷியல் கிளாஸ் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் லாஸ்ட் கிளாஸ் வி ஹவ் ஸ்டடீட் அபவுட் சிவிக்ஸ் யூனிட் டு த கான்ஸ்டியூஷன் ஆஃப் இந்தியா இன் திஸ் கிளாஸ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு கண்டினியூ த சேம் லெசன் ஸோ த ப்ரிமியபிள் ஆஃப் அவர் கான்ஸ்டியூஷன் ட்ரெஸ்ஸஸ் தேர் ஆர் ஃபோர் ட்ரெஸ்ஸஸ் தட் இஸ் ஆன் த ஜஸ்டிஸ் லிபர்ட்டி equality and fraternity okay what is a premiable we have to know the meaning of what is a premiable premiable means the preface of the constitution is the premiable the preface pre means before before they set the uh, rules and regulation so they have to copy they have to um how some rules and regulation that is called premiable so the preface of the constitution is the premiable according to it india is a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic so according to the premiable india is a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic so let's know the meaning of what uh, let's know the meaning of sovereign what is the meaning of sovereign sovereign means the constitution has granted the people right to rule this is the meaning of sovereign sovereign means the constitution has granted the people right to rule the country the members of the parliament and the legislative assembly or elected by the people so the members of the parliament okay the members of the parliament assembly that is the members of the parliament assembly or elected by the people okay that is mp the right to decide is only in the hands of the representatives sovereignty refers to the ultimate power of the country so sovereignty means ultimate power ultimate power of the country okay next one what is the meaning of secular what is the meaning of secular secular means law allows all the citizens of a country the right to follow different faith and religious beliefs so the law and order of the people so they give freedom in with whatever religion they likes they have to follow okay whatever faith they have they have to follow so that is the secularism all citizens enjoy the freedom of worship so all the citizens of in india they enjoy the freedom of worship if they like to follow the jainism they have to follow the jainism they have to follow the buddhism they have to follow the buddhism they like to follow the hinduism they have to follow the hinduism they have to faith the um, islam they have to follow the islam if they have the faith in the christianity they have to follow the christianity like this so what are all the religions they have what are all the faith they have they have to follow the religions that is called secular all the religions in our country hold the same status so they have to give equal respect for all religions that is called secular understand children okay next one the fundamental rights the fundamental rights so what are fundamental rights fundamental rights are the basic human rights of all citizens so fundamental means basic preliminary so there are so many fundamental rights totally six fundamental rights they have what are they let's see first one right to equality right to equality so all the citizens of india all are equal next one right to freedom second one right to freedom so if they if they want to have the religion faith they have to follow that is the freedom next one 
right against exploitation so no caste no any so all the peoples are equal so right against exploitation fourth one right to freedom of religion this is also they how to follow their own religion fifth one culture and educational rights culture so each religion have different culture each state have different culture so they how to follow their own culture and educational rights sixth one right to constitutional remedies right to constitutional remedies so these are all the six fundamental rights okay next one children they are right to equality right to freedom right against exploitation right to freedom of religion cultural and educational rights and right to constitutional remedies okay children next one next one so there are duties respecting the national flag and national anthem so the citizens of india so everybody respect the our national flag and our national anthem what uh, what is the color of the our national flag children tricolor saffron white and green center navy blue wheel so this is our national flag we should give respect to our national flag and the national anthem what is our national anthem children janagana mana so when or where they sing we as a citizens of india we should give respect for the national anthem okay respect and protect the constitution so the government gives rules and regulation we, we should respect and to protect we have to protect we have to keep safe the constitution follow our great leaders who fought for our freedom to protect our country so we have to give respect for the freedom fighters also okay children and we should develop science humanity and feelings of reformation to avoid non violence so we have to develop our science this uh, science and technology nowadays the world are uh, is uh, developing no so our india also developing no we should develop so we have to develop our science knowledge humanity we have to respect human beings that is humanity and the feelings of reformation to avoid non violence so we should not fight anyone that is non violence okay and protect government property we should um, protect our government uh, property what is the uh, government property children common things for example government buses government buildings okay and uh, and uh, and so many things for uh, rivers also is a common so these are all government properties so we should protect our government properties okay and the parents or guardians providing educational opportunities to children between 16 to 14 years so all the parents should give education for the children between the age of 6 to 14 years must okay next one how been added as our duties mr r mugam concluded his discussion so they are discussing like this next one the original copies of the constitution of india so they have to keep um, they have written the some rules and regulation for our country no so the original copy of the constitution of india in the language of hindi hindi and english are preserved in special helium filled cases they have to keep the original copy of the constitution of india so that the rules and regulation they have to kept very safely the helium filled cases in the library of the parliament of india they keep very safely okay children next one what are all the points we have studied no we have to see first one dr b r ambedkar n gopal swami k m munish sayed ahmed sadullah p l bitter n madhava rao t t k t p 
Kaitian were the legal experts of the drafting committee. They are all the uh, drafting committee people. They form, they arranged the rules and regulation. Next one, the chairman of the drafting committee, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, was considered the chief architect. So, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was the chief, chief means head, chief architect. Third one, when the constitution was drafted, there were 395 articles in 22 parts and 8 schedules. At present, our Indian constitution contains 448 articles in 25 parts and 12 schedules. They increased now. Next one, 101 amendments were made till 16-9-2016. So, we have to keep some rules and regulation for the smooth of our country. So, we have to know the some meanings. What is the meaning of democracy? Democracy means a type of government in which representatives are elected by the people of that country. That is called democracy. So, we are electing, no, we are voting to the particular people. No? So, they only uh, come for the uh, important post. Next one, drafting committee. A committee set up to prepare the draft of the constitution. Third one, permeable means an introduction to a book or a written document that is called permeable. Fourth one, republic. Republic means a country with an elected head of state. Fifth one, secular. Secular, a state which does not discriminate anyone on religious grounds. Okay, next one, socialist. What is socialist? Socialist means equal distribution of your country's wealth and equal opportunities in all fields. Seventh one, sovereign. Sovereign means an independent country not subject to any external power or influence. So, let us recap these points. First one, 26th January is observed as our Republic Day. Every year, January 26th, we are celebrating our Republic Day. Second one, the Constitution is an authentic document containing the basic ideas, principles and laws of our country. Third one, the father of the Constitution of India is Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. So, our um, Father of Constitution of India is Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Fourth one, the premiable of our Constitution trusts on justice, liberty, equality and fraternity. Next one, according to the premiable, India is a sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic. Next one, all citizens enjoy the freedom of worship. Next one, the executive is collectively responsible for the legislature. Next one, fundamental rights are the basic human rights of all citizens. Next one, directive principles or certain guidelines which are not mandatory. Next one, universal adult franchise is every citizen, Indian citizen's right to vote when they attain 18 years of age, when they reach the 18 years of age, they must uh, vote. Every citizen has certain duties too. Okay. Thank you children. This lesson we have to finish. Thank you.